Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your greatlifetv.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And today's episode is how to help him fall harder for you. Okay, so we've talked about many different things in this video series. Today I want to focus on how to allow a man to create a deeper level of investment and commitment in you. Okay, and the first one is super simple. It's understanding this very basic principle that men have built into their system, their DNA, their body, their soul, this need to earn what they have, to put in the effort to get a reward, right? Because it's what we've done for centuries and centuries and centuries. So what happens when a man invests little or nothing in you and he gets more rewards and his actions and his investment in you actually demand, you might feel like you're being very open and very forthcoming and very nurturing, but a man's viewpoint is, if I really haven't earned it and I have this, there's some, it's almost like it doesn't match, right? So he doesn't feel, when he doesn't feel like he's done the work and yet he's getting the results, his value of you drops immediately. So. I'm not asking you to play games. I am simply asking you to really value when you connect with someone, how is he showing up, how much of his heart, his mind, his everything he's investing in you so that you can reward him appropriately. Because when you give him more than he really deserves in terms of time, in terms of attention, or when you put up with stuff that you shouldn't put up with, then he gets to feel at some level that if you were more valuable, you wouldn't put up with this stuff. If you were more valuable, it would be a little harder for him to do this. So he just doesn't feel compelled to it. Now, if he's really doing the things, it doesn't mean that you, it doesn't require a specific amount of time. It doesn't require a specific number of dates. It's simply about you knowing that if the effort and the intensity is there, then continue with that openness of heart and sh showering him with as much as you can. If he's not fully invested that yet, then don't give him all the rewards that he doesn't he hasn't earned, basically. So that's the first one. The second one is the kind of like the balance between that and the opposite. Because a lot of women actually, no matter how amazing a man is, no matter how often he shows up, no matter how incredible he is in his commitment, in his level of intensity, his level of passion, his level of adoration for you, they still don't take the the, the openness or the heart or the energy of reward for him. So a guy will do something a few times to feel how you react, right? He wants to ultimately move towards something. He wants to progress in some way. If he doesn't feel like he's progressing, like he's really doing hard and you're playing, like now you're playing hard to catch or you're just being ungrateful, he's going to tune out mentally and emotionally. If he turns out mentally and emotionally, it will not be long before he figures out that somebody else will be able to be very appreciative of his gifts and he's going to be generous with that human being instead of with you. So just be careful of that. And the third one is again, a simple concept, right? The simple concept of understanding that a man will feel like he loves you in a very direct proportion in how useful he feels towards you. How much can he do for you? If the man cannot do things for you, he will not commit to you. Why? Super simple, because we want to feel useful, we want to feel like men. If I feel like there's nothing I can do for my woman, and I feel like, what's the point in me being there? I'm not needed, right? If I'm not needed, then I'm going to look for someone who makes me feel like a man. So understand that even little things do you feel like, you know, if you're missing independence and you can do everything on your own, Stop for a second and realize that by you allowing him to do certain things for you, even though you can do them, he's going to feel more compelled to just be present for you and to give you his commitment. So, uh, so take the time to allow him to do stuff for you. Understand that you need to reward him emotionally when he's investing in you. And also understand that when he's not investing emotionally in you and you're taking the position of doing more for him that he's doing for you at the beginning of a relationship, then he loses the drive to actually pursue you. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life. Thank you.